That's Mingle. Look, it's a nerd herd. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nerd Herd with my good partner in crime, Joe my the Machismo Garcia. Oh, nice. Oh, they called me just crime. I'm like, why, why, why is my name crime? He said, I said partner, partner in crime. He said partner in crime. Oh, oh. With my words, you made me some subtitles. I do talk like Joe Biden himself sometimes. In fact, that's a bunch of malarkey. Same time, so I'm supposed to say sometimes, but no. So you can't even We've been it. drinking quite a bit, so forgive us. <laughs> anyway, we're Nerd Herd is back again. We're here dropping another video. Uh, Might as well give you guys something good on 2020. That's been uh, bad times for a lot of people out there, so we thought we'd do some good reviews. It's sad that a, a virus kept us back, you know, brought us back together like this. <laughs> well, you know, always something bad always brings me and Joe and Bert together. That's right, man. Just like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. I don't know where that came exactly. from. But anyway, that's stupid. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we hope that you guys are staying safe out there. Hope you guys uh, are being uh, good and being safe. And uh, hopefully nobody that you know or family member has been affected by the coronavirus. And speaking of virus, let's talk about this good drink we got right going you got on. It. You know they call it a sickle, sickly, sickly. I don't know what I was going to say. I don't know. Anyway, uh, today we're going to be doing a Great Basin Ichthyosaur Icky IPA as a highly Evolve Brew from Great Basin Brewing Company, He's based out of Reno and Sparks, Nevada. Uh, is handcrafted with malt, hop, yeast, and water. Named when I hear malt, I think of malt liquor. Oh man, that was a bad day when we did that review. <laughs> Still can't get some of that taste out of my mouth. Must be with this man. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is actually named after Nevada's uh, official state fossil, like on the beer. Uh, they actually have a state park for the ichthyosaur. Uh, it's this dinosaur fish thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, great, Joe. Just keep banging the glass. <laughs> it's distinct, not extinct. I like their logo. I like their uh, way they uh, say so. You know? <laughs> but it's carefully crafted. Their motto, you mean? Exactly. <laughs> carefully crafted, offering a bold marriage of malt and hops, well balanced and richly aromatic. Savor the pioneering spirit of Great Basin. This is 6.4% alcohol by volume. Uh, it doesn't list the IBU, so I'll have to actually uh, put that up here on the screen when I get the IBUs on it. So uh, we'll go ahead and pass this bad boy open and see what you think. Uh, Bert, keep in mind, Bert does not like, I mean, well, he does. I do enjoy good beers. He's a uh, stout. I'm more of a stout than an IPA, so. Yeah. so but IPAs do got some good taste to it. Majority of the time when we do reviews, it's IPAs because that's what I have. Well, to be honest, too, it's like a lot of times it is very hard to find stouts unless you go to like more craft beer. Um, but we can't because it's quarantine. Well, like more distributors out there and stuff like that. Um, I do pick up some good Lee's. Uh, I go to Lee's uh, Liquor Store. That's one of our places here in Vegas. Um, another one is called, what is it, uh, the Wine Place? Total Wine. Total Wines. Um, they actually get all different kinds. Um, so. It's hard to actually do that because when I go to the regular stores, everything is IPAs. And mostly someone told me... That or, what, or, what the, it, or crap beer. You know, well, well, that, well, yeah. <laughs> We're not talking about that. We have an air fuel that. Exactly. But uh, when you, someone told me mostly when it's more summertime, it's more IPA style compared to... Maybe. I guess I guess winter time's more for stouts. Yeah. I don't know. But to me, stouts is every day. Well, because they're darker, heavier, and, you know, they're just... Uh, more full-bodied, yeah. where uh, IPAs they're they're almost as as heavy I would suggest, but they're bitter and more flavorful. So you could drink them in the summertime or anytime. Yeah. Actually. Well, the la well, what we see out this one the the icky was it icky IPA. Um, what I noticed off this one, my foam did not stay there as long as the original one, uh, the one that we did. Uh, what was the other one that we tried? Uh, uh, leafy greens. Leafy greens. Leafy greens had a little more head head on it. Sorry, I can't remember. Uh, but as you can see, it's a little darker compared to the leafy green that we tried. Um, to me, that's what I, I see out of this. It's a little darker. Yes. Because okay. uh, there's certain styles of IPAs, and obviously this one is a this one is going to have a heavier taste because you can tell it's darker. It's a lot more hot, not more hot, but it's just it's just a heavier IPA, a lot more malt in it. So uh, we'll go ahead and give this a taste, and then we'll go ahead and see what you think when I try this one. Because I'd like to see that you tried now three different IPAs, yeah. and you can get a different uh, 
Now we can give your view of what you think of the three different styles. Uh, the first one that you see, the, uh, like I said, you will have to take a look of which ones after the show. You'll actually see which ones he posted of this. It'd be the IPA revision test. hazy IPA. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and try these bad boys see what happens. Because I forgot what I was going to say on the earlier. I think he's grown. No, buzz is pretty good. Wow, you forgot to take a smell of it. But it seems to run my ass. Um, it got some good smell to it. It's not as strong as the uh, last one we tried, uh, the leafy green. Leafy green you smelled a lot more stronger, punching your face. Dank. Kind of IPA and the dank. <laughs> Let the windows up. <laughs> um, but this one's like a more. Is that your car? Oh, yeah. Sorry, my daughter's pushing buttons. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> That's a classic. But anyways, yeah, you, you smell a um, um, punch. <laughs> That's right, baby. I smell a little weaker um, punch. It's like a little weaker punch. It's like a jab of an IPA. That's when I smell out this one. Now for me, he already took big swing. Oh, yeah, I, I jumped the gun. I don't really get too much of the IPA punch to it, like what I would feel if when I actually drink an IPA. Um, but there is different IPAs out there. There's Imperial Stouts, and there's uh, in, was it India Imperial Stouts or something? There's IPA, the Indian Pale Ale. There's APA, the American Pale Ale. Yeah, exactly. And then there's also the Hazy IPA. And each one has a different flavor to it. Um, but this one, to me. It doesn't really have that, what I really, really want from an IPA where it got that hardcore punch to it. It's actually delicious. I'm not saying it's nothing bad. It actually has a good taste to me, but uh, someone that doesn't really drink IPAs, this does not really taste too much of an IPA. What would you really think about that? Well, this is- I want to know, Joe! Okay, go ahead. How dare you! How dare you! <laughs> uh, what, what I like about this one is, um, it's unique. What I like about the fact that it is actually it's more malty. You do get the you do get the hops in the background, but it's not as prevalent as as, as just straight up leafy greens or lupulin or or uh, delicious stone IPA. They change it up a little bit by giving you the IPA ness, but they malt it and, and it it's basically unique. And um, so when you drink this. Uh, they're, you're, they're actually a good brewing company. I actually have drank some of their other. They have some tips. good. Uh, I think they have an outlaw stout. Yes, yeah, so that's actually that. pretty decent. I like that one. Uh, but what I like about it, it's just, it's just unique, and and it, it sets their IPA part because then you know you go out and about and you're drinking, and most IPAs, I love it because they have some of them have they're very similar, but they put their own mark on it to make it different, and I like the route that they did. They added. The, to me, like I said, I, they added it to make it more malty. So you got, you have like an IPA hybrid, it seems like, and you're still getting the IPA, but uh, you are, it, it just a little bit more distinct flavor. Yeah. And um, I don't know, I like it. I it, it's I uh, used to go to movie theaters and they, they had this on, on draft and I would always get this and I always liked it, so. But in your head, what would you really rate the when it comes to the decision of rating this compared to the other IPA? Because when I rate my stouts, I would rate it what are the best stouts, what I, how I felt about which ones are there. Um, like, off all your IPAs, you got to really rate this a real rating of an IPA. Mm -hmm. Like me, what I'm tasting out of this is actually delicious. I'm not saying nothing but bad about it because it is very delicious. Delicious. But to me, what an IPA tastes like, I really don't feel it lives up to an IPA taste. Which, like you say, it's unique. That's a different taste to it. Yeah, right. But it's not what I, I considered really, like to me, what I like from an IPA. Um, so, to me, I think the rating is going to be kind of bad. But at the same time, it's very delicious. But for all the other IPAs I've tasted, to me, I actually will rate this at 3.75 off the IPAs of what I've tasted of the flavor because the reason why why when I trace an IPA trace I mean taste you sorry I'm, I'm good. Good. when I taste out of an IPA I like that punch you like to taste the ingredients yeah, well yes you know and I taste a little bit of it and I can taste a little bit of the malt style of what they're trying to do but to me 
it's it's not really considered what a good IPA of what I want off a of punch, like what we tried on the other ones. That's that's how I feel. Like I said, I might be biased with certain IPAs or whatever, but no, no, that, to me, that, I think that's. that's I'm sorry, that's what I feel. A uh, three point seven five. What I think it was. So you already forgot. Can you believe that? Yeah, I did. But three point seven five. That's how I feel about this. Right? <laughs> well, the beauty part of that is, I said we'd like to give honest reviews. There's people. We're just afraid. We don't want people to think that we're like gonna give like something the highest rating or, or whatever just because we're you, trying it we're out. We're trying it. You know, we're, we're we're loyal to a certain brand because there's there's beers from certain brands that I'm diehard fans for that I didn't like. But like I said, this one I like it. It's distinct, not extinct. As they said, yeah. but anyway, uh, I want to say I I actually I, I want to say on my scale of IPA, I, I do I think I would give this a four out of five. Um, well, you can't just go four out of five. Just just straight four. Straight four out of five. Okay, just straight four. Straight four out of five. Okay, that's why I was checking. Uh, just because I believe that I like the uniqueness of it. It's different, and it doesn't have it doesn't have the hops that I'm looking for in the IPA. I mean, it is hoppy a little bit at the end, but it is malted down and a little bit heavier, but it's okay though because it, I would drink this more. I want to go to the brewery room, brewery yeah. and tap room, and, and check it out, have some drinks. Well, check out the other to be drinks. honest, the, the, when you go to the actual tap room and everything, it, it actually does taste a lot different compared to what you actually fresh. taste in there. Um, there's nothing wrong with this beer at all. Drinking it, very smooth. Um, the aftertaste is very delicious as well. But like I say, when it comes to being in that into the IPA or trying out these IPAs, it's it's it, like it is, to me it's a kind of low rate. It's like it's IPA, but not. IPA. Yeah, it's not. Uh, honestly, like I said, I, I, I take this over APA any day because of the American Pale Ale. I do not like. Okay. I've tried numerous ones. Try, and I, I just don't like it. Yeah. It's it just it, it's almost. Uh, well, I guess it's a step above, you know. Big brands, you know. I don't want to say their names just because I don't want to drink them. Yeah, no, like, but you know the cheap. Well, beer. we will probably will try some yeah, of those just will. to give you some better ratings on it because we did try some all liquors and stuff like that. So, but well. um, like I say, it's actually real good. Don't like it's, I always say you must try it because everybody's a different critic. Everybody uh, has a different view of you. If this was the only thing that's there, I'd be drinking it. But if I see the other IPAs, I'm grabbing the others. I'm sorry. Yeah. But, hey, if you happen to ever be in Reno or Sparks, go to the brewery and tap room. Check it out. They have other beers other than this, obviously. Uh, I want to try some of their um, other IPAs. And I, I, I do like their uh, Ella Milk Stout. Yeah, their Milk Stout's actually really yeah. delicious. I do. So, I, hey, this is a good, hey, 4 out of 5. 3.75 is still well above Oh, no, still good. Still good. In my so... Book. Definitely give it a try, and uh, we hope you enjoyed it. This one, uh, like I said, was unique. Yeah, it was, it was actually unique, but like a, you know, like I say, off an IPA, it didn't have the punch. That's the only thing I feel bad about. Punch it, in your but, face. You know, I want to punch around in my fucking face. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching us. Um, we might get more reviews in. Uh, we, of course, we're going to have the same shirts because we're just... Punching all in one. I'm into crap. That's right. Now me, I'm about to sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. Anyways. Daniel Son. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> anyway. Do it, Johnny! All right, okay, so. Put him in the body bag. <laughs> <laughs> so, is this, like like a, this become a movie review? I uh, guess so. But you can tell we've, we've been drinking quite a bit. So, but we just do. Ah, uh, fuck, go ahead. Finish it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyway, if you uh, like, uh, please hit like button, hit subscribe if you'd like to see some more of our crazy shit. Or oh, not just crazy shit, good beer, uh, beer reviews, the Nerd Herd. Um, if you're about gaming, don't forget to check out Rumham on, on Mixer, Mixer slash Rumham76. Uh, to go ahead, this should be he'll, down here. He'll, he'll tell me the right way to put it in when we edit this. So yeah, unless I forget. Yeah, anyways, probably, yeah. But anyways, um, just like I say, if it's all about beer reviews, go ahead and check out the Nerd Herd. He does have a uh, movie review on there. Uh, he, his tribute, actually not a review, it's a tribute to George A. Romero. So yes. if you're into that, click on the link. You'll see uh, George A. Romero's tribute video. Well, the Nerd Herd always has a big variety. That's yeah. what's good about it, as well as our people. That big T and Big Mac up. made a return. Yeah, I saw that. It was actually pretty good. I was laughing. They were drunk. Yes, they did it. That's why I was laughing. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but please come out, hit subscribe, 
he might edit a lot of the shit that we just talked about. Probably not. It's gonna, it makes for good television. Yeah. They're but probably, but God, hit the like button if you don't like what you see. Go ahead and hit the down button. Just you know, and then please share your comments and let us know what you actually think about these beers because that does help as well. Or tell us what beer you want us to bring next so we can uh, get it if we can actually afford. And get don't it. forget to also put in comments if you would like someone else to try this out with uh, my cousin Joe on the Nerd. Like if you would like my boy PJ or PJ the Great, let's see him on YouTube. Brian or, Reynolds. Uh, or our boy Marco Marcolitos. Whoever you want to see to try certain beers, have them try. Conan, Stephen Colbert. You Miles, know, Miles big time celebrities. Yeah, look at somebody. Yeah, Miles, Miles, somebody you know? We do have 36 subscribers, so watch out. <laughs> well, one that keeps disappearing. <laughs> yeah, who is that guy? Yeah. But anyway. Please tell us. If, if you're the one that keeps joining our site and adds up and then deletes and then adds us again, please tell us because we're curious to find out who's that one missing guy. That he's <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe button. The like button, the notification if you want to know when he's coming out with a new video, which is very rare. Exactly. <laughs> but we'll just go ahead and see you guys until until next time. I'm Joe. And I'm Bert. We'll see you at, at the, the movies. movies. So you're not going to go ahead and drive us? Probably, yeah. Uh, is the bar open? I don't know, man. Well, the phase opening is coming out, right? They're supposed to tell what's going on? Could be.